Welcome to another episode of Maryland Gardener Channel. Um, and I'm going to show you the progress of what's what's happened now. I mean, from the last video, it's quite quite a big change. So I'm going to look around and see how the peppers are doing. And these right here, these are the uh, well, these are all jalapenos actually, and then we've got some green peppers here, some Cubano red peppers. And if you look at the tomato plant over here that we have, on the top here, our tomatoes are doing very well. Right here in this corner here. Look at these big ones right here around the corner. And they might be ready next week, I'm thinking. Well, that one's doing really well. Carrots are still about the same. I might be picking those today. Picking up maybe, uh, maybe half of them might go today. Uh, and these peppers here. These peppers here are the, um, these are the Cubano, the Cubano red chili and they're doing very well i'm glad to see that they've grown they got a lot of bunch of flowers that are coming in these are also the uh jalapenos here these are all the jalapeno plants and the ones i topped Seem to have bushed out quite a bit actually. These this this is one I topped out and it's grown quite a bit and it's bushed out. Uh, some of these I didn't top. I think I topped these are these here I topped. And they're starting to bush out and put some, some flowers and fruit out right now. But that, that's gonna be as big as they're gonna get, but they're gonna put a lot of fruit out. Over here is the other tomato plant. Other tomato plant here. You see all the tomatoes that are growing underneath here. This is the determinant tomato. And this is going to put out all its fruit at once. And you don't want to prune or, or pluck the suckers out of these. You want to let it grow as big as it can. And it will flower all at once, put out its fruit at once, and then it's, it's done. But it's doing very well. Got a lot of, lot of flowers here. So it's going to give us a lot of fruit. Doing very well. And these are the uh, zucchinis. And we've already been harvesting here the last couple of weeks. And you can see here, they're coming in right there. And you have uh, the crooked neck. We got a few here. We got a crooked neck one that probably close to harvest right here I'll give it another day got some crooked neck and these are all the zucchini plants and you got the cucumbers already putting in, putting out flowers and growing up the fence there some in the back here as well so these are actually doing very good I'm gonna try and put some um, neem oil on it and spray it down a little bit now I think it's due although I don't see a lot of bugs but I want to stay ahead of it and make sure I don't get up uh, get too bad 
So now, this tomato plant is still not doing very well. I don't know what's going on with it. If anybody has any idea, please uh, leave a comment to where at what's going on with this. I'm not, not really sure. I think it's just a sickly plant. It's putting out flowers, but it's like just struggling. I don't know. I'm going to let it go until see what happens. But uh, if you can leave me a comment or something on what I can do or any idea of what this might be um, and how I can get to, you know address it. Please let me know. And, uh, and and in case this one dies on me, I, I put a sucker off the beefsteak uh, tomato plant and uh, planted it here. And I'm gonna let that go and see, you know, just have another one as a backup there. And these are the hot um, cayenne peppers. And uh, a lot of volunteer cucumber plants for my uh, compost. Um, um, for my compost that are doing very well so I've been transplanting those and they've been you know giving me more cucumbers um, the ones that I bought from the store didn't really do well at all just the one I bought from the store here at Lowe's and it is just that, that's as, as far as it got but the ones that I've um, that have come up are randomly doing very well this one here too this one was uh one uh, must have been some seeds in the compost from last season and uh, just planted it there and it's been taken off it's going to do very well and we got our green beans which are very slow to start and um, I don't know how well they're going to do it's my first time planting them so I don't know how well I think they're supposed to be way more ahead of this um, so what I did was I planted some bush beans so just bush beans here they haven't sprouted yet but I planted them last week so that maybe I have some bush beans if this doesn't really seem to do much so I'm hoping those come up and I'll have time to at least harvest something this, this season before the winter now uh, come around and you can come just kind of, I'm gonna give you another pan around so you can look So today we're gonna um, I'm gonna be fertilizing the uh, plants with um, manure, and uh, we're gonna see if um, we can get at least all the peppers and tomatoes done today. So I bought that black cow manure that I'm gonna put underneath the plants. That should give us some more uh, some more nutrients, and then I'll water it down later on today. So we'll do that next, and then we're gonna. Um, then we're gonna um, be filling up a. Then we're gonna be filling up a uh, new raised bed that I just put together. We're gonna be um, amending the soil. We're probably gonna be probably gonna be probably gonna be um, planting some uh, maybe some broccolis and um, Brussels sprouts if, if I have enough time to do it. Um, so. So we'll show you how to how to do that, and um, let's go and uh, check it out. All right, so that's the black black cow, black, <clears throat> the black cow brand um, manure that um, I've used, and uh, this is what I'm going to put underneath the plants here, just to give us some more. Nutrients got the 555 five, five. and uh, We'll do that next we'll do the let's see let's do the Let's do the Let's do the peppers and then Just grab a little bit of manure no Lucy Bad girl. Bad girl. Can't eat that. Just grab a 
handful, just like we did with the mulch. Grab that manure. And uh, put it around your plants. That's gonna leach out as it rains and you water. It's gonna leach out all that uh, nutrients into the, the top of the, of the soil where the, the, the real, um, where the roots are. All the running roots will catch all that first. You want to do that? And basil's. I'm putting some a little bit around there. I might not need it, but I'm gonna do it. I want to really get my peppers and tomato plants. Grab some of that. Spread it out. Make sure we spread it out pretty good. I've been harvesting, I already harvested a bunch of basil the last couple of weeks. So they're doing pretty good. All right, let's go this way. All right, so let's get these. Then I'll water these later on supposed to be about 90 degrees today so I'm gonna water this down really good Get her a lot of nutrients. And then um, in about three weeks, I'll uh, do the uh, seaweed um, liquid fertilizer and go over that. But for now, this should do should do the trick. I did spray the, uh, about three weeks ago, I did spray Epsom salts um, on all my pepper plants. I did, um, I don't know, maybe like three teaspoons of Epsom salts to a gallon of water. And uh, sprayed all my plants down and uh, did my tomatoes. And... Uh, Get all my tomato plants and um, man they seem to really they perked up a little bit so I'll do that every every three weeks as well or, or if I think they need it you know I might do that you start getting a blossom and rot that tends to help with preventing that somewhat So, I'll grow about a handful for each plant. Then 
gonna cut them all. I'll see if uh, it's All right, let's do these pepper plants here. And then we can start amending that soil. I just built that new, new uh, raised bed there. I'm going to be getting ready for the winter crops I haven't quite decided yet so Let's get that last tomato plant. All right. And the rest of the leftover manure, I'm gonna put into the, put it in that raised bed. Mix it in with that. I'll put the rest of that manure on there and uh, spread it out because the roots kind of spread out further than the plant. So spread out that mulch as width as the plant is. Make sure you get at least some a lot of the roots that are. Now, all right. So let's go uh, and amend some uh, some dirt. Fill out that planter. Well, it's the planter here that I'm going to be filling up today. It's a 10 foot by 2 foot wide. So, got some Miracle Grow garden soil. And let's start filling it. Well, there are this. Hope I have enough. If not, I'll get some more later, but I think maybe Top soil. One more bag to go. Two more bags. All right. So that's all the top soil. Got a little bit of uh, miracle grow and uh, farm vegetable 
say green. Kind of just mix all those together. Now, add a little bit of peat moss. Add a little bit of peat moss to it. That kind of retains water, keeps it moist. Well, I don't really measure to eye it out, but. Probably need to probably get up a couple more bags of dirt. But I'll be adding my compost to this next season. So, the manure I only add to the top layer of the bed. I'm not going to have enough to do it, but I'm going to wind up getting another bag. Maybe another four bags of soil. And maybe two, another bag of manure. And manure is just going to be on the top layer. But since it's like a very shallow, um, since it's a very shallow bed, Might do two bags of manure and then I'll just add compost next season and it should be ready to go. Let me get the manure. I'm gonna get another bag later. about another four bags of the soil and one, two, 
two bags of manure. I would not do this, right? So I'm gonna probably get that later on. But you get the uh, you get the idea. Now what I'll be adding on, what I'll be adding to this is uh, now this is when I start when I put the plants in to plant bone meal, get a bit of vegetable um, fertilizer, and uh, that's what I'll be putting in there when I when I put when I put the plants in, and the compost next next season should take care of the nutrients for the for the rest of that you know for next year. So uh, now I guess I've got some carrots to pick. So let's see uh, how many carrots I need. To, I got to use some carrots tomorrow, so I'm gonna pick about five or six up and see how they are. So, my gloves on for this. Found a huge spider in there last week. And uh, I'm not taking any chances. But I'll put my gloves on when I go into the, into the bushy um, stuff like this. You don't know what's in it. So, I'm not gonna use my gloves today. Let's see, I'm just gonna randomly pick some. They may be small, but I'll, I'll take a few if that's the case. Oh yeah, they're pretty small. Look at that. Maybe I need to wear a little longer. Let's try another one. Yeah, well I didn't thin them out, so that's what happens, I guess, when you don't thin these out very well. Let's try. Yeah, they're very small. So I'm gonna wait. See? I'm gonna wait a little longer. Maybe start thinning them out now, little by little. Pull out the ones that are, if I can tell they're in the way. Yeah, they're tiny. But they weren't thinned out, so. I got lazy about thinning them out, so I'm gonna let them go a little bit longer, I guess. And then, uh, yeah. Getting bigger as you go through them. So I'll wait another, maybe like middle, middle of July, maybe I'll, if they hold out that long, middle of July, I'll go and pick some more. But, uh, so I'm not gonna mess with those until next middle of July. So that's the garden so far. Um, a lot of changes, man. A lot of changes. I can't wait to harvest these tomatoes soon. They're looking for this is the beefsteak tomatoes, and they're just doing very well. They're doing very well and uh, right on time. So that's the progress so far, and uh, maybe by mid-July. Maybe by mid-July we'll uh, do another, maybe harvest. Uh, got some, some jalapeno peppers coming in, tomatoes, a bunch of squash, a uh, um, bunch, uh, bunch of zucchini. And uh, maybe by mid-July we'll do the potatoes because I think it's looking like it's... Potatoes look like they're ready to harvest. I really don't know. That's going to be a surprise. But uh, you see the tomato plant, potato plant here. 
it looks almost dead which is kind of like what's supposed to look when you know it's ready and I think it's ready to go um, it's just gonna be a guessing game with that but if you look take a look around and next time we see you see you guys hopefully you guys will come back and watch uh, watch our our channel and maybe we'll have a huge harvest here for you guys next time and I'll have that that raised bed planted ready to go And if you're a new viewer, please subscribe or just, you know, leave some comments, um, you know, I appreciate that. And uh, hit the like or dislike button there and uh, I hope to, see, hope to see you guys back again. You guys have a great day and a great 4th of July. Take care and stay safe.